my gosh, yes! It's finally here! Oh my gosh, it's finally here! Oh my gosh, no way! Oh, I'm so glad it's not on the edge! It's finally freaking here! Oh my god, yes! Shiny Tyrogue! Oh my god! Live Shiny Tyrogue, actually. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Oh, it's so cool! Oh my god, look at the blue! Oh my gosh, yes, it is kind of showing up on here, too. This is uh, really exciting, actually, because... Oh my gosh, this is so cool! I'm s I've wanted this shiny for so long! And um, I'd like to point out, this is my first ever face cam live shiny hunt. That's not like Pokemon Q-Charm or anything like that. I am... I've probably got to keep my voice down, too, because there's people sleeping right now, and, um, I don't know. I, I was chaining kind of late, and, um, I, I just gave another try for this Tyro, because I want it so badly. Speaking of Q-Charm, I wanted it on my team. I wanted it in this game so badly. Oh, my gosh. I finally have one. I finally have one. Now, I am a little paranoid. I trust Cerebi over my phone. I'm going to pull up Cerebi just to make darn sure... This thing cannot kill itself. I want to make absolutely sure. I'm so excited I got it. Yes! Oh, I wanted this thing so long. I have chained it and failed so many times. Oh, but not today. T-I-R-O-G-U-E. Here we go. Oh, it's finally there. It is finally standing in my game. Yes. Alright, now. Here we go. It is on level 14, which means... Oh, um, okay then, Tyrogue actually doesn't learn anything by level up, he always knows the same four moves, which is good for us, because uh, none of them are really going to mess with us, outside of Fake Out, he's going to know Tackle, Helping Hand, and Foresight. So, um, you know what, let's False Swipe immediately, and I'm just going to Spore, and we're going to try and catch him. I'm so glad! So glad! Oh, Leftovers healed me back up. His caps rate 75, that is not that bad. Fight, we're gonna spore him anyway. Yes! Oh, it's asleep, like I should be right now. Um... The specific Pokeball I wanna throw... You know, how about just ordinary Pokeballs, because I don't know what I wanna evolve this one into. I'm not gonna name these four. I hope I get four today. Two. Three, yes, Ugh. yes, 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 ah, I am so excited about that, that is so cool, ah, oh. I just caught Shining Tyrogue on face cam. that is so cool, um, the reason I was able to do face cam is because I was actually just doing some Pokemon Q-Sherm episodes, and, uh, after the episode I was like, ah, I'm kinda done for the night, I'm, I'm really, uh, tired, I gotta go to bed, and um, I started chaining just because I really felt like chaining. It's just a lot of fun to me. I really enjoy it. And sometimes I do it just not even expecting anything. Like this time tonight. Like it was a really bad time to do it. But I did it anyway just for fun. And it happened to be the time. The one time we did it. We freaking did it. Now, I am going to say no. It is going to go into our party. We're not going to look at it yet. We're going to do this when we're done. I'm going to say no. And we're going to go right back into the fray and try and find another Tyrogue. So, I will see you guys when we get lucky. Hi guys, this is Alex from the future, actually, coming in to uh, talk with you guys, because I got cut a little bit short while filming for this episode. Yes, but we still get to see the actual content, but uh, as you can see in the video, I know I'm not supposed to be making any sounds, yes, because people are getting a little mad at me, which is kind of, you know, unreasonable on their part, because they keep me up constantly every night by making their own noises, but whatever, we get to see yet another awesome Shining Tyrogue. I'm so excited about getting these Tyrogues. Seriously, guys, I'm, I'm trying to go for four of them today. It's what I'm hoping for. Um, obviously, I'm in the future, and I already know how many I'm going to get. But anyway, that's what I was hoping for at the point. This is what I would have said had I could have actually 
speaking to you. No, oh, thanks for that false swipe. But anyway, I'm hoping to get four so I can get one of each evolution and a Tyrogue to spare. And uh, that would really be amazing. I'm basically using the same method as the last one we just saw. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying I'm sorry. I can't make any noise. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, talk to you guys now to give you any bit of commentary, which is kind of a shame. But hey, at the very least, yes, two shiny Tyrogues. I'm super excited. Plus, this one didn't take long at all. Yes, and Tyrogre was caught. There's Happy Alex in the background. I don't know what that is, but I'm doing it. So anyway, that at the very least is two different Tyrogues, so I have two different evolutions. Ah, oh, really exciting. Whew, yeah, but it's super late right now, so I'm going to try and get as many as possible. See you guys in the next one. Well, hello there, and welcome back for some more Tyrogue action. Too bad I can't talk still. Oh, well. At the very least, we're still finding yet another, after all this time. Yes. Oh, and there's a patch in my way. Oh, shoot. And it's on the edge. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, if I take that patch, it's possible my entire chain could break. Um, so I'm not really sure what to do, like if I should leave it. Looks like I'm going to take it, I'm going to watch the bottom screen to see if I break or not, and no, thank God, because like I said before, I really want a fourth Tyrogue, one who can actually stay as a shiny Tyrogue, and get all three of the evolutions. That's assuming that I can pull off the evolutions properly on the correct Tyrogue I want, which we're going to take a look at these Tyrogues at the end of the episode anyway, so... You know, keep that in mind. We are going to look at those, and I'm probably going to pick which ones I want to turn into each evolution after this video is done. I'm going to work on evolving them and everything. It's going to be really exciting. My plan is to actually put them in Pokemon Q Charm. I really want them on my team. And here I go again. I don't know what the heck I'm doing down there, but I'm really excited, and I just have to be quiet. There we go. Yes. Three shiny Tyrogues, only three Pokeballs. That's awesome. I'm... <laughs> I am really silently excited over there. I've never seen such silent excitement. All right, so, like I said, not going to give them nicknames until I know which one is going to be which evolution. And as soon as I hit this button, we are going to be back, and we get another shake, and... Oh my gosh! That chain survived on that one patch that shook down there. Did you see that? If that one down there did not shake and it was supposed to be a tile out, this whole chain would have been broken. That would have been a bit of a failure, and I could not have gotten my fourth one. But, alas, we did. And I will see you all when we can find him. See you guys after the montage. Yep, you just saw that right. I decided against montaging this time because it literally took one minute to get this next shiny Tyro. Yes, that's amazing. Plus, it was so insanely late, I really needed to go to bed. Hey, you know what? It's on the edge. Doesn't matter if my chain breaks, though. And it didn't anyway. The fourth shining Tyro has appeared. Yes, that's so freaking amazing. I'm so excited about that. Considering going for five, but... It's super late. I really, really shouldn't. Plus, we also have to look at these guys at the end of the video anyway. It was just way too late. I really shouldn't have. So, anyway, really exciting that this Tyrogue showed up so quickly. I kind of decided I was going to psych you guys out there and do the montage, you know, w without any montage. I mean, because I couldn't do it anyway. There was only, literally, that was four. Four different resets of the Poke Radar. Awesome, though. Still considering it. Come on, Alex. No, don't consider it. It's, it's too ridiculous. No, I know they're showing up like candy right now. 
Kind of like in my uh, shiny Dorito chain video, which, by the way, if you guys don't know what I'm even doing in here, I'm chaining with the Poke Radar in Pokemon Platinum, and I've got a bunch of other shiny videos that explain that. And nope, he's not gonna be named. We're gonna figure that out right now, actually. Wait, take a look. No, okay, <laughs> there's not another shiny, shiny patch. That'd have been ridiculous. You know, whatever. I mean, you gotta look anyway. So saving a, a lot of data. Oh my gosh, yes! It was like one minute later. That is so amazing. So, I'm going to try and figure out what I'm trying to tell you guys by my facial expressions. It's not going so well. I'm pretty pretty much considering whether I should go for the rest of them or not. Yeah, it's way too freaking late. I can't do it. It's probably like 2 a.m. and everyone's sleeping around me, so I got to stop. But at the very least, I can take you guys over to the Pokemon Center so we can take a look at our new shiny Tyrogues. Now, I have two of them right here in the party. I'm not going to look at them yet. I'm going to put one of them out front. So we can do an encounter. Actually, no, I kind of shook my head. So it looks like I'm going to try and pull out another Tyrogue here. So give me a second. I'm going to run back and forth, which is basically this is how you're resetting the Poke Radar after I get a chain to 40. That one in the top left, uh, I don't know why I didn't take that one. That one in the top left really was a uh, uh, probably a good chance of it being a Tyrogue. Uh, but anyway, uh, once again, the upper right. I don't know why I'm still being picky about this, but... Um, Okay, there we go. I guess I found a patch I want to take, and I'm going to switch for Tyrogue out front, and here comes our encounter. Wait, I thought it was there. Never mind, it's... What, where the, whatever. I don't know what happened happened, so whatever. Here comes a normal Machop. <laughs> I even got to say to myself when I'm quiet, here comes a shiny Tyrogue. Yes, which you can't even really see from here. I like how he's silver in this game, and not like that weird yellowy gold color you're seeing on the... Uh, the 3D model of him dancing over my uh, face cam right now, but oh well. I'm going to be playing with them in the fourth generation anyway, so whatever. You're going to be seeing these guys in Pokemon Cute Charm. Really exciting, but anyway, now we can finally go back to the Pokemon Center, take a look at these four Tyrogues. Let me know what you guys think for being the best choices. Which one is the worst and should stay as a Tyrogue? Which one should be a Hitmonchan? Which should be a Hitmonlee? Which should be the Hitmontop? Looks like I'm going to be arranging these guys really quickly, trying to put them in the correct order that we captured them in. Uh, yes, that that's right. Okay, now the two in our party, uh, he was first, and then that other one down there was second. So I'm going to move those around. Um, other than this, I don't have any other shinies in this. I mean, some of them were... Uh, I don't think so. But anyway, I really don't like keeping them in my uh, Platinum game because it's kind of hard for it to read. So I prefer stuff being a Q-Charm. Here we go. First one is... Uh, we don't know yet because it's bashful and capable of taking hits. Uh, so bashful's okay. I mean, it's not like going to force the uh, Tyrogue to be one thing or another. I'm pretty sure bashful is neutral, so that's pretty good. Uh, you guys can check those IVs and let me know which ones you think are the best. Here comes our next one who is gentle. Often scatters things. Okay, okay. Um... Meh, I'm not exactly sure how well that's going to do. That one messes with the defenses, so it may be a problem. Those are the stat comparisons of the first and the second one. So, I mean, eh, meh, meh, oh well. So, we should go ahead and just take a look at our third one here, which is Lonely Often Dozes Off. Um, once again... Again, I don't, I'm not actually remembering that off the top of my head uh, right now, recording this or in video, so... Oh, well, doesn't matter. This one has a different ability, though. Okay, pay attention to that. There's some that have Guts, some that have Steadfast, and that's really important for deciding which Tyrogue is going to become... Oh, I'm sorry, the last one is Hasty with a Sturdy Body. Anyway, the natures... I'm sorry, the uh, abilities are what's really important also for determining which one becomes a Hitmonchan, Hitmonlee, or Hitmontop because whether that ability is in the first slot or the second slot will determine which ability it has when it evolves. And some of them are very good, some of them are really not good, and you really want to get them. Oh, I'm so excited, so excited, this was so amazing. Uh, double reverse fist pump, I guess, but anyway, that was really amazing. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more, and I will see you all in the next shiny Pokemon hunt. And let me know which Tyrogue you think should evolve into which Pokemon in the comments below. See you guys!